100 candidates applied, 10 got chosen, but now only the final two remain. Who will be crowned the next JRCS apprentice? This is the final of the first JRCS apprentice. Congratulations for getting this far. We're now down to the final task and things get a little bit harder and harder for you to move on and to become the successful JRCS apprentice. On this last and final task, you will be competing, not against each other, but also against 10 other established businesses. You will be setting up a market stall during the Christmas fair next Tuesday. On that stall, you need to sell products that your customers will want, but you also need to sell products which are different from your other competitors. So you need to find out what they are selling and then provide something that is completely unique that your customers will want. On the winning team, they will keep all their profit. The losing member will then have to justify why he should stay or she should stay in the process to be still called the JRCS apprentice. The winning person will be given the opportunity to then have a stall at the school, lower school disco the following night on a Wednesday evening. They will then also have the opportunity to have a stall with no competitors the night after on the Thursday night of next week where they can sell their products to a mass audience of 750 people. So for the winner of the JRCS Apprentice, is there's a unique opportunity to make some serious cash. Now, in order to be successful, successful in this task, you will need to find out two things. One, find out what you want to sell. And two, you need to ask Miss Wright in business studies whether or not you can sell that product. She is your eyes and ears in terms of what products you are allowed to sell. Everything needs to go through her. Best of luck to the two of you on this task, and I hope to see you in the boardroom next Tuesday where I can crown the very first GRCS apprentice. given this week, which was your final task, was the most daunting yet. You had to compete, with not just each other, but also to compete with 10 different stalls, market stalls, offering a variety of different products who were already established businesses because they were there for the last few days and you were entering into their marketplace. Teva, how did you find today? What was good about it? Selling what? What did you sell? Um, cake and um, face painting going on, which was totally different. Um, 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 Lucky Duke, um, Santa hats, cowboy hats, um, and um, Christmas 
Okay, who allowed you to do face painting? Okay. Uh, Tom, what did you sell? Um, I sold a variety of little uh, stacky treats kind of Tabor, uh, you sold a variety of different products, the face paint and so on, uh, including the hats. What advertising did you do for the event today? Um, I sent out emails to all staff and students and I made a poster um, to go in the year seven minute registers. Tom, same question for you. What kind of promotion did you do for your event today? Um, I think promotion was probably my strongest area actually, to be quite honest. Um, I focused so much on that that maybe I didn't focus so much on actual products. But uh, my techniques, I emailed the staff uh, as well as Tabor did. I also did the register uh, trick because that worked well before when we did the third task. And um, I used a lot of social networking sites to contact all the other students because I know that they're always on there. So I felt it was a different way of communicating with them. A lot of the people who I normally talk to responded to the uh, the comments and the uh, information that I put on those sites, but um, not a lot of people who I wouldn't normally talk to responded, so maybe that was a little bit of a downside because the people who I normally speak to would give me a 100% honest opinion, maybe. Okay. Tabor, outside the school, did you promote this in any way, trying to encourage other students? Um, yeah, I told them my mates. Okay, and were they, they say, yeah. essentially helping you? Yeah. So did you get support from other uh, students to yeah. help you run the stall? Yeah. Tom? Um, yeah, I had a lot of support from my friends, obviously. They were there. And uh, after a while, they decided that it was better for them to help me rather than to sabotage what I was selling. But um, Okay, how did they sabotage what you were selling? Um, as a kind of joke, I don't think they took it as seriously as maybe I did. They were standing near the stall and telling everybody to go over the table. Like, as a private joke kind of thing. Which I didn't really appreciate, but you know, and I did try to get them away, but that didn't really help. But after a while, they realised that maybe like, it was time to take it seriously, and they started helping out. And also, um, the past, some of the past uh, apprentice candidates started helping me out. They obviously felt that um, I, in their opinions, was the right person to win, so they decided to support me. Okay. Um do you think, based on this task, that that initial uh, negativity from your friends has affected your chances of winning? Um, yeah, but I wouldn't put it all on them. I mean, everything they did obviously influenced it, but I wouldn't say it was the reason that we lost. Okay. Or that, that I think that I might have lost. Okay.